Hello everybody and welcome to the Craft IQ Challenge Hop where we are just all getting a chance to show off what we created with the Craft IQ Challenge for me. Um, so I did this live so there's a lot of editing so I cut out a lot of things. Making the page itself actually did not take that long. It was all the decisions I had to make, <laughs> make uh, that took a really long time. So I was uh, live for over an hour and 15 minutes and a lot of it was just hemming and hawing about decisions. Um, but here I am showing you all the different kinds of stamps I'm thinking about using. So the May layers this this um, month. And if you've never checked out the Craft IQ Challenge, I just highly recommend you go check out the Facebook group. It'll be linked down below. Look around, do any of the past challenges. But basically, you get a layer every day. And the whole point is a lot of people will then just scrapbook a tiny bit every day. And it adds a little twist so you can't really finish. It's just adding another extra layer of challenge to your crafting what I have been doing this year as well as then um, I'm gathering those um, things for those seven days and instead of scrapping a little bit every seven day which is really fun by the way I think you should try it um, but I have also then been going live and gathering all my items over the seven days and then going live and adding a couple more twists to the seven items so right now I'm just going through papers I decided to use late afternoon by um, Amy Tan I love this collection I've got photos of my son doing a um, a like farm themed uh it was like a little mother's day skit uh for all the moms and i'm just kind of taking my swatches and figuring out what inks i want distressed oxide inks but the main layers you saw earlier are um do a half and half design um tear some paper and one of the twists was make sure some of the torn paper is behind your photos and you have to have at least three layers so um and then stamps was layer three and the twist for that was um stamp a border somewhere so my original thought was to stamp all the way around my page but after we started picking um papers and we picked a lot of fun patterns we decided it would be too much to go all the way around the page so um you'll see here in a little bit what i did instead um layer four is tag create a tag from pattern paper don't use a pre-made tag five use some brads six add purple if you don't already have it and seven um add some dimension so like I said, I am using Amy Tan. I've got three photos of my son doing this little Mother's Day skit. Um, there's always like muffins with mom, teacher appreciation week type thing. And it's always around Mother's Day. Uh, um, roughly it falls around Mother's Day. So I definitely was um, having or was I, I was scrapbooking those photos. I don't know what I was trying to say there. <laughs> um but it's very they they did like an old McDonald's farm are you my mother like twisted thing so it's kind of to me farmy homey so that is why I decided to pick um Amy Tan even though that's springtime but the rich colors really lend lended toward the feel of this and I'm a huge rich colors fan like I don't care what time of year it is I can use fall papers because I love those colors jewel tones are my jam all right, so we finally settled on some papers and then we're trying to figure out other layers. So I'm going to do a half and half design by doing like an eight by eight square and splitting in triangles with this purple leaf and this blue leaf that has a little bit of golden like tip on it. And so then we wanted a paper to go behind it and everybody, we were kind of torn. Everybody liked the yellow, but it was really busy, but we also liked the multicolor tiny floral. So I opted because I decided since now I'm not doing a stamped border, it was going to look, well, and even if I was doing a stamped border, it was going to look kind of funny with how big of a border I was going to have um, on that pattern paper that we picked. And we picked that, uh, I picked that um background paper that is just the lined paper and has some mixed media just in two corners so it was just going to look weird with the proportion of how much of a border was left so we're going to have lots of layers um so I'm already deciding in my head that my photos are going to go on this half and half square and so yep we backed it with the that um, floral and then I'm going to put a white trim around that just to break it up a little bit but I'm going to make the white um, a little bit longer on the bottom and I'm going to tear it and that's where we're going to stamp. So then we're going to stamp just a bunch of leaves um, from a bunch of different stamp sets on the bottom um, where I tear the white and then that's going to go on that beautiful yellow color and then that's all going to get popped up and put on that lined background which I also I'm then going to trim down a little bit and border the entire page on that same multi print floral so that way I have that in a couple places to me that just looks really good to my eye 
um, seeing that pattern in a few different places and then it brings all those colors together. So then I will have my torn. I will have a third layer under my photos. I will have my dimension because that whole thing is getting popped up. I've got my purple that I need to add in and I've got my half and half design. So, and my stamping on that ripped border. So really all I need to add is Brad's because I've already, Brad's and a tag. Brad's and a tag are the only things that I, after just doing all those yummy paper layers, I just need to do Brad's and a tag. Um, so here I'm finally getting those things popped up. But this um, live instance was uh, very good for everyone to see how my entire process goes because I had nothing prepared <laughs> ahead of time. So that is why I was live for so long because I didn't have anything ready. And But it was a lot of fun. I enjoy that. People might think... I don't know. Some people might think that's dumb because I'm not really creating my page and I'm having having everyone help else help me. But I find that fun that um, when I get to scrap live and have a bunch of people watching that they're actually helping me choose um, create my page. And I, and I always have something in mind. I know something that I want to do and it morphs, but I, I really like that. I really like having someone, um, a group of people collectively helping me create my page and not that I don't know what to do or don't, but it's just, it's fun. I like hearing the input and sometimes you get things from people that you wouldn't have done yourself. And that was my whole point about creating the craft IQ challenge because some people might take the challenge and because you can do it in three different ways, um, they might take it and put a spin on it that you never thought of. And so it's all about lifting each other up, helping create inspiration. Nobody should be scared of quote unquote copying what somebody else did because they inspired you, right? So I'm just getting all those layers glued down and then, um, Facebook did something weird and cut me off. So after I get my stamping done and I start getting my um, photos glued down and deciding on doing a pattern, pattern paper for a tag and putting the smaller photo on that, um, I just need to add brads into those corners. And those corners of that background paper that has a little paint strip, I also did some stamping in those and that's where I added the brads. Just to add a little bit of stamping um, to kind of tie it all together. Um, but yeah, Facebook did cut me off. So after I glue these down, I do end up adding, going back on. And I just decided it was only a few minutes. I just decided not to download that part. And then um, because I was on so long, I did add some embellishments off camera. Not a ton though. Only a few stickers here and there. Only a few dimensional stickers. So I highly encourage you to try um, the challenge different ways, different times. So the three different ways you can do Craft IQ is the first one I mentioned is that you're giving kind of a layer every day. So literally scrapbook 15 minutes every day for those seven days doing those layers. So don't glue everything down right away, but just like gathering those things and changing your changing your design as you get the prompts and see what happens with creativity. Highly recommend it. Two, gathering all the items together and scrapbooking live with me or scrapbooking after I give you the added twists because that is fun because then you at least have gathered all your things and you're maybe forming an idea. Um, here's some close-ups. Or three, um, waiting till everything's done and just scrapbooking. There's three different ways to do it. So here are the close-ups. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out everybody else who is getting to show off their love of creations down below. We'll see you next time. Bye.